Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks as I continue my series of tutorials where I demonstrate how to use keyboard shortcuts in Excel. In today's lesson I'm going to focus on keyboard shortcuts that you can use to fill a series. These keyboard shortcuts are the equivalent to commands that you find in the editing group. The editing group is found on the home tab of the ribbon in Excel 2007, Excel 2010. So I'm going to show you how you can use the keyboard shortcut Control plus D to fill a series down vertically. The keyboard shortcut Control plus R to fill a series to the right or horizontally. Most important in this lesson is that I want to point out two little known keyboard shortcuts. Control plus apostrophe, Control plus double quote. Actually, Control Shift double quote. Notice that both of these keyboard shortcuts will copy the contents of the cell directly above it coming down horizontally, but they treat formulas in a very different manner. All right, let's see how these keyboard shortcuts work. Over here I have a constant value, the value 5 in a series. Let's just say that for whatever reason I want to fill this down. Notice that I'm holding shift and the down directional arrow to fill the series that I wish to fill. Now use control D and I filled that series down. Let's just say that I want to delete these values that I just filled. Control shift down arrow to select and then the delete key. Let's just say that I put 10 over here and I want to fill this series. Hold shift and the right directional arrow to indicate the cells that you wish to fill the series in and then the keyboard shortcut control R. Now I'll use control Z to undo that. Notice over here in this cell if I use F2 that this cell contains a formula. So let's see what happens when we fill the series down. The series that starts with the formula. So I'll hold shift and the down directional arrow and then control D. So notice when I use F2 that it has copied the formula down using relative cell references. Honestly, since the improvements in Excel in the autofill options with the mouse, I don't use control D, I don't use control R as frequently as I did in the past. And also notice that if I come over here on the command, the drop down menu, that there are many more options when I click on the series. And some things that you cannot do with autofill, such as linear growth and, and, and other elements in there. But nevertheless, let me show you how I have uh, the ability with autofill to increment in column C by 2 to increment in column D by 6 when I use the autofill. So I've indicated the series that I wish to increment with and an autofill always begins with your mouse in the lower right corner. So you see how these formulas, which I use control D to copy that formula down, now they are picking up those values. Let me introduce you to control apostrophe, which I find to be very handy. When I want to copy the exact contents of the cell directly above, control apostrophe fits the bill. That's particularly interesting when I come over here. You're probably familiar with Excel's autocomplete. So if I type the letter N, it's going to suggest this is an autocomplete if I hit the Enter key to accept it. But let's just say that I have a different value in it. Let's just say that I have Northeast and I also have Northwest and I want to make an exact copy of Northwest. Now with autocomplete I would have to type quite a few letters to get my choice. Control apostrophe gives me an exact copy of the cell directly above. Let's see how this performs with formulas. So over here I have a formula referencing these two cells in row 6. If I use control apostrophe and let's use F2. You see that it gives me an exact copy of the formula. It didn't copy the formula down and pick up relative references. It gives me an exact copy of the formula from the cell directly above. And there are times when I find that to be very helpful. Now let's take a look at control shift double quotation. So control shift double quotation is giving me not a formula, it's giving me the result of the formula from the cell directly above. So really that's the equivalent of doing a copy of the cell that contains the formula and paste special values. 
So there you've learned some interesting keyboard shortcuts. Control D, Control R to copy the contents or fill a series. Control apostrophe and Control Shift double quotation. Now, if you would like to receive a full uh, copy of my popular keyboard shortcuts for Excel, I offer it for free on my website. As you can see, it's a five-page document, and I have it nicely organized, and I'm using this as the basis for these video tutorials. All you have to do is come over to my website, thecompanyrocks.com, and then over here on the right, when you click on um, uh, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. When, when you click on this area, exclusive membership uh, content, you'll be able to come over here and then download the keyboard shortcuts that I have available. And I'm constantly updating uh, the materials that I offer to my members. It's free. Just simply register with the first name, with the last name, and with your email, and I'll send it on to you. So I'll look for you in the next lesson when I share more keyboard shortcuts.